hello everyone welcome back to bpo interview tutorials and uh, today we came up with an interesting concept uh, that is how to use pie chart in your reports when we are preparing any data for uh, scores or any performance report we can use that uh, that will show a data presentation in a perfect way so today we will see that particular concept before moving to our video i would like everyone to please share subscribe the channel and also click on bell icon so that you guys will get the notification about all the videos which will be coming in upcoming days would also like to inform you everyone please check out the playlist you will find videos related to six sigma certification trainers quality quality team lead operation team lead kpis krs many more content is there guys do watch learn more and grow your career guys and also crack your interviews so let's start today's topic that is on pie chart so before moving to the video i would just like to uh, explain you about the raw data what i'm using here so this is just a sample guys wherein i'm using the team names so maybe you can consider the team lead names then we have done this number of audits and this is the seed set scores what we have received from the audits so you guys can use in a different way as per your requirement you can use it guys okay so i am preparing a pie chart using this particular data so first of all i will select this entire data i will go to insert recommended chart all chart i will use pie chart from here you can use any any of these guys first or second from this two i am using the second so that it look like a 3d way i'll click on ok so i got my particular chart here but labels and everything is missing first of all i will rename this particular audit so if i'll click, double click here okay uh, i can easily modify this performance uh, chart i am just mentioning it as a performance chart selecting it i am just giving a border here you can directly do it from going to home and you click on border it will get sorted there just increasing this size uh, at some level so that it look good and bold now this is done what i'll do you you are able to see in the right corner we have three buttons so in the second button you can choose a chart guys like what kind of chart you are looking for so i'm using this chart here like wherein i'm getting uh, it is somehow like look like a 3d chart okay then i'll move to click on plus button and uh, uh, before that i'll do right click okay right click and i'll just do format chart area i'll click on format chart area then i'll click on the uh, names of the uh, team leads or else the 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 content where you find the data here so here i'm not able to see audit count then c set score i'm able to see only the content that is the team lead name i'm just uh, going to click on this one single click you can see in a right corner we are able to see a format data label wherein there are we have a four icons i need to go to the first one i need to do a uh, label option i'll select percentage i will also select values which means it will select the audit count okay so everything is visible now and uh, what else i can do value from sales this is not required guys okay and series name which means it will show uh, what are you displaying right now okay this is also not required so it's 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 sorted i okay now it's looking good uh, i will add a legend also here uh, so the legend will show that uh, uh, for what kind of data we are representing or else for whom we are representing here we are representing our data for uh, team lead guys you can also do one more thing here you can again click on a uh, right click you can do format data chart area you will again click on the content here you'll go to the well just again click here so that you'll get removed and label option i will remove the category name if i do that because reason i can show you guys so below i have already used the uh, team lead name which are representing this particular data for which we are representing this particular data all set guys now we are able to see that uh, 174 253 and everything is the audit count if i want to do some more changes here i'll go to format now I'll, I'll go to there are many more options okay chart design i can go to chart design so what kind of chart i'm looking for so this is a different view of chart this is an another view of chart 
this is another way of chart there are multiple ways you can show your particular uh, chart guys okay so i'll use this uh, okay i'll using i'm using uh, i'm using this particular chart okay and i'm just uh, pushing this content to uh, some outside of this so that it look good okay see guys now you guys can see that uh, this performance chart is representing that how many audits happened for ahana 174 and the csat percentage is 12 percent okay so in this way you can see for the others as well also you can select this particular chart so it's up to you like what kind of chart you are looking for so this is also a way to uh, show the data guys so this is all about the pie chart uh, i know this is a basic bus but yes uh, you can you can see and understand that you can use this particular chart in your any report to show that uh, how many audits happen for this particular team lead and what is the csat percentage here so i hope this is very much clear about the pie chart okay so there is an advanced level also you just need to uh, go to right click you can do format chart area there are multiple icons available here like uh, if i want to give any shadows here okay so like i want to change this shadow to like this so you will get a shadow on uh, the chart i want to give a few more changes here like a format here so i want to give this particular format you can see that the chart is getting changed here and uh, this basic changes you can do even you can change the colors that the same thing you can do here also if you go to the second icon there are different chart available here guys uh, and there are different color combination also available here. if i'm using this cup combination i'll get data in this way this is another combination guys okay so there are many colors also available which you guys can use to prepare a particular uh, pie chart so this is all about uh, the pie chart guys okay i hope this is very much clear and you can please use it in your report so that the visualization of the data will look good and uh, the presentation skills will also get improved so do this guys you just do copy this and you can directly paste it over the email guys so it will work that's it from my end with regards to the pie chart if you still have any doubt please do comment in a feedback session uh, in the feedback uh, section and also click on share option so that your friends colleagues will also learn this and uh, help to your team uh, to get growth in their career if you still have any doubt please uh, let me know i will i will try to help you out guys so that's all from my side thanks a lot guys thanks for watching have a great day